all right what is going on my dude so i usually not the person to like jump onto the forums get the screen recording out and like report the new post that just went up that's not usually my thing right but i got so irrationally excited when i saw this quality of life update that got released today so it says more quality of life updates and beta features come <laughs> <laughs> beta features uh, coming in version 33.0 now i don't know if that's next month or the month after it says it november 1st oh my god i'm so excited so there are so many things i'm so excited for um but let's jump right in today and just let's go through some of it i don't know how I'm, I'm gonna make this too long but so First of all, this is really cool, okay? Smaller quest portraits. If you've been playing this game for a while, you've probably seen, like, you know, the, uh, this sort of image right here where, like, the character portrait is blocking the node, right? So essentially what they're doing is they're making it a little bit lower uh, or a little smaller so that you can click on the node easier. So basically it seems like every event quest, every month, there's, like, one section of it um where you just cannot click on the node man and you have to like you know click on it multiple times right around the head the top of the head or you have to click on the boss to get rid of all the portraits so that's just a nice little quality of life update and that's cool and that probably should have happened like years ago but you know what we're getting there and it doesn't matter but this is like the smallest thing here man so up next we have a nice boost menu change which is really nice man because the boost menu is so cluttered um, and it says here, you know, boosts are incredibly helpful for blah, 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 blah. To help make this flow better, we have split up all the boosts into four different tabs. Uh, common, all standard attack, health, champion, and XP boosts. That's great, man. That is so great. When I do, like, war, I usually, you know, sometimes I do class boosts, sometimes I do gray boosts. But most of the time, for the majority of fights, it's really just, like, a small orange boost and a small green boost. Like, 10%, 10%. So what I have to do there is scroll all the way past all the 6.3 boosts, and it literally takes like 15 seconds every time, which is not that long. It's not that big of a deal, but it's just like obnoxious. Like it's, it's, it's become something that I'm so used to. Open the boost menu, scroll down to the bottom, right? But now the left side is just going to have all of those, and then it's going to have a war a war section so that's probably gonna have the gray boost and the class section oh god it's just gonna have like the 150 percent 200 percent and then the special class boost and then other is probably where it's going to be that's the stupid 6.3 boost that nobody cares about um i wish the xp boost were there too but that's fine so yeah that's gonna be a really nice quality of life change but the reason why i'm making this video the reason why Oh my god, skip SP3 animation button. Oh my god, I can't even believe it, dude. I can't even believe it. Look, it's like, like they know. Look, as awesome as they are, after the thousand times seeing Hyperion throw your opponent into the sky, the charm wears off a bit. In these cases, we'd like to just get on with the fight, and the SP3 animation can drag the fight on longer than it should. To this end, we've now added an option in the settings menu to show the skip SP3 button. Dude, when enabled shortly after the SP3 is launched, the button will show up allowing you to skip it. Dude, the only restriction will be in time fights, where we are currently disabling it until we determine the future and game balance. Yeah, sure, of course, that makes a lot of sense. Um, in, in war, you should use it to get yourself, you know, settled anyway. So I don't mind that whatsoever. Um, Oh my god, this made so many champions 10 times more playable for me. Let's go over to Aunt May. And obviously there are lots of champions in this game, right? Not all of them you want to use special threes. Most of them you don't want to spam special threes. But there are some champs in which you do. And it becomes just boring. Painstakingly boring to do that over and over. Honestly, right? Like, let, let's go through the list here and see how many champions you like to at least start with a special three with, okay? Immortal Abomination, all right? Right out of the gate. Um, and longer fights, Apocalypse, okay? Um, there are some fights where Black Widow Clairvoyant, she only uses special three with her sig ability. Um, 
Cosmic Ghost Rider, there are rotations where you do infinite special threes over and over and over and over and over and over. Doctor freaking Doom, dude. I haven't played Doctor Doom for like two years because I just can't stand doing the special threes over and over anymore. Guardian, if you want to build up all the special threes. Guillotine 2099, end the fight with a special three every single time. Hercules, in some fights, you just chain special threes for the immortality. Um, Hyperion, every fight at the beginning, you do the special three. Some fights, you only do the special three right magneto almost every fight you end with the special three kingpin you can chain the special threes for the rage and the other stuff and yeah um king root depending on the matchup you can get more regen if you only use special threes uh iron man infinity war in like labyrinth and abyss you only use special threes over and over and over Let's see, who else we got going on here? Medusa, same thing. In the four-star Medusa Karina's challenge, you only use special threes over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Mysterio, that's how you get your damage, right? So you always go for the special three. Namor is such a good one, man. You get to the special three, you use it, you immediately use it again. Who wants to watch it two freaking times in a row? Um, let's see. Quake, you only use the special three with Quake, obviously. Proxima Midnight, that's how you get most of your damage, dude. Uh, Professor X, I like to start with the special three every time. I go special three, special two, special two, special two, special two, special one, depending on how many power boosts you use. Odin, my biggest complaint about Odin is how you have to use a special three to get going. Um, Who else we got here, man? So many champs that rely on using the special three. Sabretooth, every fight. Every fight, you have to use the special three with the Sasquatch synergy. Um, let's see. Silver Surfer, you got to use a special three to get the aptitude for more of his damage, and he definitely needs as much damage as he could possibly get. Um, let's see. Who else we got here? Who else do we have here that relies on lots of special threes? Strife. When you're building up Strife, you have to use multiple special threes. That's the most annoying part about him. Now you don't have to watch it anymore. Your God, you start the rotation with a special three stealthy and longer content you have to use the special three in order to refresh your stuff um ultron has a decent special three that people use very often is that still bugged i don't know warlock warlock has a great special three that people use very often as well so there are some fights where you only use special three do you get my point do you get my point here there are so many champions where you just Oh, also Dragon Man. I forgot Dragon Man too. Dragon Man. Um, there are so many champions where you just repeatedly use the special three over and over, where you only use the special three in many fights. And it's uh, freaking obnoxious. But now, I forgot to say Ben and the Duck too, because he was like the first one that came to my mind. You build Ben and the Duck up, man, where you get like five power gains and five furies, dude. You just chain special three, five hit combo, special three unbelievable this makes him so much more playable dude crazy crazy dude so crazy i think this is like probably the best feature mcc has ever added i didn't think we'd ever add it highest quality of life change i've ever seen right here man i am so excited for this i don't know if you could tell all right up next, this is so cool too, man. Beta feature, fight summary overhaul. Continue with one of our goals of improving players' knowledge and blah, 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 blah. They're gonna be changing this to like this. That is so cool, man. Now I'm a creature of habit. I don't like change. My first instinct is like, eh, it's a little busy for me. I don't love it, but give me like a month and I'm gonna be all over it, man. Because this, is like, I'm just so used to this right here that it's like, yeah, okay. Um, but basically, this is just so much better, man. Like, look at this. Look at how cool this is, man. It shows you basic attacks, how much damage you took from incinerates, special attack damage. Look at this, finishing blows, incinerate times 68, other power stings, basic attacks, special attacks, fight duration. It shows you the fight duration, the hits. Hits receive the highest combo of everything, except it's added the duration now too, which is huge. So now, when I make a video of like a new champion that came out, like freaking when uh, War Machine came out, and I was like, guys, look, he's really good. And people were like, wow, he took 200 hits to kill Winter Soldier. And I was like, no, his special three just has 5 million hits. I can say, look at the fight duration. Don't look at that amount of hits. Look at the fight duration, because it's going to be there from now on. That's awesome. That's really great, man. So 
It shows you like health profiles at the end. It shows you the damage resources, the finishing blows, uh, stats. Dude, it's just awesome, man. It's just really, really awesome. Like this is a great change, man. Overall, just so many amazing things. For, like I probably wouldn't have made this video if it wasn't for the skip SP3 animation. It's my favorite thing by far. This is fine. This is cool. Boost is going to be great. Amazing job. Huge shout out to Kabam Zero for being freaking awesome, man, and, and doing this. He's the same guy who gave like the, the replay button in the, in the quests, right? Where you just restart the quest. But yeah, really awesome stuff. Uh, that's going to be it for this one. Just quick little quality of life update yelling at you video where i just wave my arms around and yell um but that's it for this one if you enjoyed it drop your boy a big little like comment what you think about these changes in the comment section below and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future videos coming to you in the future i'll be seeing you around